Right, we're looking at how to do a memory upgrade on a DesignJet 800. So before we start, make sure we've got some suitable ESD protection, as we have here. And make sure the power is disconnected and has been for a good sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. Completely remove the power. OK, so we're uh, looking at the back of the DesignJet. Take this plastic moulding out of the way. And what we see there is the, the formatter that actually holds the additional memory on there. I've pre-loosened these. Um, you may or may not need a screwdriver, just a flat blade driver on there just to, just to loosen them off, but I've pre-loosened them. Okay, so there we have the formatter removed. Get the hard drive on there. And there's the memory. So what we need to do to get this memory off is pull these two metal sprung bits out of the way and you see the memory pops up to an angle of about 30 degrees and remove the memory dim. Okay, there we do. Get your new memory dim and the reverse. Line it up at an angle of about 30 degrees. Click it into place. Make sure it's clicked uniformly all down the side. You just about see the witness of the connections there. All nice and even. And then just push it down. Clip it home. That's it, you've got your new memory installed. And then it's just a case of... Popping that into there. Into the EIO slot. Make sure it's firmly screwed home. Put your cover back into place and that's the memory upgrade completed. All we need to do now is power the machine on and we'll print a config page just to make sure that the memory has been recognised correctly. Right, so we just want to check that the memory we've just installed has been successfully recognised by the machine. So we've plugged it in, powered it on and the machine's come ready. And all we need to do Scroll down to the printer, printer setup menu, which is the bottom icon, and press enter. Scroll down to printer information, and press enter. And it gives you the option to view or print it. Um, just select view, press enter. And we scroll down, and what we'll see is the total RAM, which on this machine is now being recognised as 160 meg is the maximum for the this machine anyway. So we know that that memory module is successfully installed and we're ready to print.